In the previous video we made the jacket and the textures inside Blender. You can find it up here. But in this one I'm gonna show you how I modeled the jeans and sculpt the details. Then after that I'm gonna give it a fast texture and material so we can render it. But before moving forward make sure to check out my Gumroad and Patreon page to download all the 3D files and real time process videos of creating these jeans and lots of other characters from the channel. Link is down there. Let's do it. First of all before doing anything else we need a base model. If you're making a character you probably already have it but if you're not just search up 3d base model and download one after that you will need a reference image so go to google or pinterest and find the reference image suitable for the type of jeans you're going for this time i want to make tight jeans you can have a window on the left and change it to ue editor now you can open up the reference from here the fastest way to create the base for the pants is exporting the geometry from the base mesh if your model doesn't have a good topology you're gonna have to manually model it press tab to go to edit mode in the face select mode hold z and go to y frame mode and select the bottom. While the faces are selected, shift D to duplicate and press escape to place it back. Press P and selection to separate this part from the body. Now we got a separated mesh for the jeans. Delete the feet if you haven't already. Now to give it some thickness, add a solidify modifier. If you have a multi-res modifier, delete it because we don't want the sculpted details from the body. If the jeans is really tight, you can add a shrink wrap modifier and select the body as the target. After that, it is stuck to the surface. Then you can add multi-res modifier and subdivide few times. Then apply the shrink wrap modifier. Since it's really tight, we don't need to add big folds. We can already move on to the smaller details like the folds on the groin area. Just pick up draw or inflate brush and start adding folds from the center to the outside. Make sure X mirror is enabled so anything you do applies to the other side as well. We don't want to connect the folds to the center, just leave the place empty for now. Pick up crease brush and make a line from top to the bottom. Temporarily disable the X mirror so we can only work on this part. Add another line for this part of the pants that I have no idea what it's called. Maybe make the edges more pronounced. Before doing anything else, make sure you turn on X mirror again. Maybe add some more on the bottom with an angle. Moving on to the knees, pick up inflate brush and start adding the small folds on the knees. It has more strength in the middle but fades out on the outside. Do not forget to look at the reference as much as you can, so you can replicate the same folds here. We can continue sculpting these folds around the knees. I added a bit too much folds on the knees, so let's hold shift and get rid of these folds. As you probably know, we always have stitches on the side of the pants. So let's pick up crease brush and in the stroke option on the top, enable stabilize the stroke and increase the amount. Then start adding the line from the top all the way to the bottom following the curve of the pants. We also have another stitches in the inside part of the jeans. So let's add that one too, the exact same way as the outside. Just make a line from top to the bottom. Now these stitches create even more small folds around these parts. So let's pick up a really small inflate brush and start adding folds this way. These folds are a bit different than the rest. They mostly start with some space in between and end up meeting each other on the opposite side of the fold and fade away to the cloth like this. Some parts are really tight, like the bottom of the buttocks, so let's add some small folds here too. And obviously there are pockets in the back, so let's add them too. I use crease brush to draw the shape of the pockets, then hold shift and smooth out the outer parts. Then hold click and start pronouncing the edges a bit more. We also need to add another stitch line to the back, using the same brush we always use. After that, we can go ahead and add the small folds around the stitches area, inside and outside of the pocket area. Maybe a tad more on these areas too. 
Let's not forget about pockets. Stabilize stroke is enabled so we can draw the shape of the pockets easier. We can now move on to the small details. These details are only necessary if you're doing close-ups. So if you don't want to get close-up renders, you can skip this part. Firstly, we need a second line for the stitches. After that, we can pick up clay strip brush, hold control and add some random irregularities all the way to the bottom. Do the same thing to the inside as well if you want. We got the same thing going on around the zipper, so let's add some of those here as well. If you look at the image references, you can see it also visible in the back pockets. So let's add these tiny folds here too. They're basically anywhere on the stitches or somewhere close, so you need to add them anywhere you added the stitches. Before moving on to the texturing, we need to UV unwrap our model. First go to edit mode. In the edge select mode, hold alt and click on the edges on the side to fully select that row of edges. Then select the remaining if it's not already selected. Do the same thing to the other side while holding shift. Press U and mark seam. Then select the middle edges from the front to the back. Press U again and mark seam. We need to do the same thing to the inside. We now separated all the necessary parts, so press A to select all, then press U and unwrap to unwrap all the UVs. Now you should have something similar to this. If it's not looking like this, that means you haven't separated all the parts correctly. We now have two ways to approach texturing. We can manually add jeans texture and start painting every single details on the jeans, but faster way would be to use existing images. You can find the laid down jeans image and use it for texturing. I use this image right here where you can download it for free in the link in the description. Switch to shader editor, shift A and add image texture, then open up the jeans image we just downloaded. Switch to UV editor again, select the jeans image texture so we can see it. In the right viewport, disable show overlays so we can see the texture in the edit mode. Now select all of the UVs and bring them to the outside. Move the mouse to the top of one of them and press L to select that one piece. Move and rotate it if it's necessary to match with the jeans. If some parts of it is tighter than the rest like mine, you can select the bottom edges. Enable proportional editing, press S to scale and roll the middle mouse up or down to change the size of the proportional editing. Then drag the mouse and make the bottom fit with the image. Then select each vertices and make sure it's right on the spot, not far out and not too far in. Once you are done with this one, go ahead and do the same thing to the next one. Just bring it over and fit it with the texture. If the other part gets in the way, you can move it away just for now. After all of that, you should end up with something like this. Now, this is just a diffuse image. We still need a normal map in order to have some renderable details on the jeans. So search up normal map generator on Google and click on the first link. Once it was opened, click on the first image from the left and import the jeans texture. Decrease the strength and disable displacement. Look at the model on the right to see the results. If it looks decent to you, click on download. You can also click on a specular and download it. Back in the shading tab, shift it to duplicate the image texture and open up the normal map we just generated. Put it on non-color, duplicate again and bring in the specular. Connect the specular to the specular, then shift A and add a normal map node. Connect the normal map to the normal map node and connect the node to the normals. And the fun thing is, we can now add a hue and saturation node and drop it between the diffuse and the main shader. Decrease the saturation and value to have a charcoal colored jeans. Increase the roughness a bit and that is it. Hope you find the video helpful. If you did, like and sub would be great. And make sure you check out my Gumroad and Patreon page to download all the 3D files and real time process videos of making this character. And and lots of other characters from the channel. See you on the next one. Peace.